Hello. This evening there was a full moon and I created and performed a full moon ritual I haven't done in a really long time and I felt really cool to do it. I've been wanting to do it again for a long time and today it just felt right, everything just sort of fit into place. When I was clearing my chakras in the bath, um, I noticed that my root chakra was really slow and quite cloudy. So I guess that needs some more attention. I, I often have trouble with my root chakra though, so it's expected. Um, and then I think my sacral chakra is actually overactivated. Um, it was very fast. Um, solar plexus was actually normal or seemed normal to me, uh, which is great. I like I like that because I think I might also often have trouble with that one too. Heart chakra was fine as well, although a little clogged, but I guess that's due to hasn't been um, cleared or healed in quite a while, but wasn't too bad. Um, throat chakra, very clogged. Not slow and not too fast, maybe a little bit on the fast side, but uh, so maybe a little bit overactive, but... Um, yeah, just clogged. Um, third eye fine, and the crown chakra was a bit slow too. Um, but after my bath, I felt very, very cleansed, <laughs> very cleansed and very empowered, and like I just um, touched base, come home a bit, you know. Recharged, yeah, recharged, maybe even invigorated, and then what else? Um, then my uh, moonstone charged water was, I actually felt like it refreshed my thirst, or quenched my thirst rather, way more than a normal drink. That's what I noticed about it, was that I felt very quenched after that. And um, so quenched, in fact, that I couldn't finish it and gave the rest uh, to my sage plant in the kitchen. Mm, I think that's about it. My card reading for this full moon was really quite positive and I wonder if maybe I was looking through rose tinted glasses and was believing that it was more positive than it actually is but we'll see um, some highlights from that is that at the moment one of my blessings is that life's pretty balanced right now and life's treating me well right now and I should just take time to be grateful for that which I think is definitely true. I have pretty much everything I want and need right now. I mean, obviously we all have goals and we all have desires still, but I can't really say that there's anything missing at the moment, especially now that I'm making more time for my spirituality. Another... Um, another thing from the reading was that um, something that I need to surrender or work on letting go of this month is sort of the dead wood of my life in like the clutter but more as in life clutter I think rather than natural clutter I mean I have a lot of actual clutter but I don't think that's what the cards were talking about. I think it was more about 
you know bills that you don't really need anymore that that's a message that i got very strongly was you know cut away things that really aren't any use and it was more of a obligation stuff that you you don't need to stay obligated to so there's like there are actually a lot of you know like memberships and stuff that i, I don't need i don't use so there's that and um for my self-care what my cards were recommending was that, was that um see i think this might be why i'm looking at it too positively i think it was about following my intuition and relying more on on listening to myself and maybe practicing some mindfulness to make sure that you can that i can tell what i need listen to myself properly and i don't mean my ego self you know i mean what do i actually need right now um that's the best way I can look after myself this lunar cycle and then what I should work on manifesting this lunar cycle is some healing energy because there are some stressful events coming up soon there's the end of my uni course I have a big essay due um, there's a driving test that needs to be done um, and then there's going to be news about whether I'm moving house or not. So they, these are all stressful events. And there's going to need to be some time for healing during, during those as well. So those were the highlights from my reading. And yeah, I really did have a lovely time today on this full moon. I'm very happy about it. So yeah, thank you for listening. See you soon. Bye.